Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how you can use the on decorator with selectors to further filter the messages that you're going to be handling with your handler methods. So what I have in front of me is a small application with two different buttons and they say two different things. One of the buttons says exit and the other button says bell and if I run my application I don't think you'll be surprised by finding two buttons. One says exit and the other says bell. Now nothing happens when I click them and that's because I'm not handling button presses yet. So what I'll do is I'll import my own decorator and now what I want to do is I want to be able to exit the app when I press the exit button and I want to be able to ring the app bell when I press the bell button. And so one might think or one might start by writing on button pressed and then I don't know let's say button exit app so I want to be able to exit the app from this button now the issue is if I just do this I'm going to be running this method regardless of the button that gets pressed so if I run my application and if I press the button bell I'm exiting my app and so what we can do is inside my on decorator after the message or messages that I want to handle, I can I can add a sorry not messages. This only accepts one message type. So after the message, the type of message I want to handle, I can add a CSS selector. So if this is the button to, if this is the method that should be called when I'm exiting the app, I can say that I want to handle button presses from buttons that satisfy the selector exit. And what this means is this is an ID exit and so this will only match button presses from this button. So if I rerun my application I can press the bell button as many times as I want, nothing happens and when I press exit I exit the app. And so I can use this feature to go ahead and say that when I press buttons with the ID bell then I'll ring the bell. So I can just call the bell method on my application. So if I run the app, I press bell, you can see that a little bell showed up there. You, can, you can't hear it, but it's there. And when I press the exit button, I'm exiting the app. So you can use this parameter to make sure that you're only handling messages from the widgets that you care about. For example, if you've seen the calculator tutorial, we use this feature a lot. So there is another example of where this might come in handy. Um, let's see. I think that's all I wanted to share with you in this short video. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, sorry. I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.